If you like contemporary art, great food, and the most fantastic wine, Chateau Lacoste is really where you want to be. Property developer Patty McGillin has taken what was a pretty average vineyard and transformed it into one of the world's most exciting contemporary art destinations. He's also really improved the wine. Located just north of Aix-en-Provence, Chateau Lacoste is built as a contemporary art centre rather than just a vineyard, with dedicated art spaces, site-specific installations and temporary exhibitions. Almost every aspect of Chateau Lacoste has been created by a master artist or architect. The main pavilions, gallery spaces and entrance gate were designed by star architect Tadeo Ando, whose architectural philosophy is described as a haiku, emphasizing nothingness, empty spaces and beauty in simplicity. The couverie, where the blending alchemy of winemaking takes place, was designed by Jean Nouvel, while the music pavilion was designed by Frank Gehry. Here is where music concerts, talks and special events are staged throughout the year. What really distinguishes Chateau Lacoste from all the other vineyards in the area, and there must be literally thousands, is that one can see over here a remarkable collection of contemporary art scattered along the vineyards as you walk through. For example, this sculpture over here of Sean Scully. Scully is an abstract painter, and this is a 3D iteration of what it is he does on his 2D canvases. They're open to interpretation, and what I see when I look at this sculpture is memory. It's an embodiment of time, and it's very heavy in its own weight. It's akin to, for example, Stonehenge, or one of the other monuments mankind has built throughout the centuries. The Louise Bourgeois has become an emblem for Chateau Lacoste, installed over the lake in front of the entrance, greeting visitors. It is one of the iconic works of Bourgeois, whose practice focused on female sexuality and anxiety. Or this wonderful slow swinging Alexander Calder stable, which is both monumental and delicate dancing in the summer breeze. There are many works of art to enjoy around the grounds, all of which are detailed on this map which will be handed to you on entry. Unlike in a museum, you can get really up and close and enjoy the art as you walk through nature. The walk takes about two hours to complete comfortably and you can break it up with a visit to one of the four restaurants on site. Malman's, the Argentinian restaurant, was already featured on Chef's Table, but there are plenty of vegetarian options as well as local Provence cuisine to try. Make sure you visit the shop where you can buy some wine to take home. But most importantly, finish off your day on the terrace with a well-deserved glass of wine. For more art pilgrimages in the area, visit theartpilgrim.org. This is Maya Binkin for The Art Pilgrim.